Welcome back to the channel. I am motivational speaker, certified life coach, and your spiritual advisor, Nayla Latrice. So let's go ahead and tap on into this energy. I am here to give you all your general messages, okay? You can book your personals down below in the description bar. All right, so... The message that I got for you all, the download, is winners never quit on themselves, okay? Something about flames, okay? Something could be going up in flames. Oh, this Palo Santo be smelling so good. Those of you all that use it, y'all already be knowing, okay? Set the tone, set the energy, okay? Clear the space, okay? Connecting with that Hollywood. But yes, winners never quit on themselves. So uh, this message is meant to encourage someone, to motivate someone, okay? Um, wherever you are in your journey, don't quit. Don't give up, okay? Spirit sees you. Spirit has you. Um, it's like you cannot fail is what I am hearing. You can't fail. You won't fail. So release any type of fears of, of doing so, okay? So it's like if you were thinking about um, stopping something or not doing something that, you know, you feel like uh, you're called to do, Spirit is saying, no, winners doesn't, winners never quit on themselves. You know, you may feel like you're too old to be doing something or um, this is giving me as well um, something about your age. You know, you may feel like, oh, you're too old or too young to, to dress a certain way or to be in certain environments or to, you know, people may look at you and they may say, oh, well, you're only, you know, 25. You shouldn't be doing this or you're not able to do that or something like that. Or, you know, you're 40. You shouldn't be rapping. Nicki Minaj, Nayla Latrice. You feel me? Okay, but spirit is saying that you're destined for whatever this is. Do not give up on your dreams. Do not give up on your goals, who you are and what you have come to do on this earth, what has been placed in your heart. Okay, so winners never quit on themselves, baby. So be encouraged. Be encouraged. Hey, no matter what's going on. Hey. So it's like your ancestors is going to make everything all right. Spirit is going to make everything all right. Yeah, spirit is telling you to take control over your life with this emperor energy here. Okay, you are the 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 one to to say what happens in your life. So make sure that you are speaking positive. Make sure that you're not being your own downfall. Make sure you're not speaking negative on, on your life. Make sure you're speaking life into your life. You're speaking life into your dreams. You're speaking life into your goals. You're speaking life into yourself as an individual, as a person here. Okay. It's time that you take control over your life, over your purpose, over your passions, get some type of routine going here. You are the authority over yourself, over your heart, over your mind, over your life. Yeah, your mindset, change your subconscious mind. Okay, many of you guys have been doing your subconscious mindset work. Good job. Keep doing it. If this is your first time hearing about it, your subconscious is what is naturally being manifested for what you see in front of you. So if you don't like the type of relationships you're in, if you don't like where you live, if you don't like uh, where your money is, if there's a uh, um, some type of situation that you're in, you know, such as um, being in a drought, okay? Um, maybe you guys are battling addictions. Maybe you guys are, uh, your money is just completely funny. Maybe some of you guys are on a homeless journey, wherever you guys are. It's like you have... That's all because of some type of subconscious belief you really have about yourself. It's really all about our self-concepts. Come on now, I'm teaching y'all. It's really about our self-concepts and what we really think and feel about ourselves that really plays out and manifests into the real life world, into the 3D, right? And when you have a bunch of belief systems, whether um, they were taught to you uh, from the time that you were born and you were born into these certain belief systems, or if they are belief systems that you have picked up along the way, along your journey, right? It, either way, these belief systems, they're, they're, they're playing out in front of you. So pay attention to what is in front of you, okay? Um, as far as your relationships, as far as if you work, but you don't really want to work. Some of you guys believe that you have to, uh, the only way to get money is by going to a job. That's a deep-rooted belief system that you have. That's exactly why you're working at a job. But the entrepreneur knows that, hey, no, I got skills, gifts, 
talents of my own that I can be the authoritative of my own life. So they have a deep rooted belief system that they can get money off of their skills and who they are and they can do it solo outside of the matrix. So which side of the spectrum are you on? Do you believe money is easy to get? Do you think everything is expensive? I don't say nothing is expensive. I say it's the perfect price. And if it's something that I truly desire, I'm going to do what I got to do to get it. If I feel it's not worth it, then okay. But it's all just numbers. It's all just numbers. Anyways, at the end of the day, whatever is in your subconscious mind is playing out. So make sure you guys are taking control over your belief systems pretty much. That's the hierophant energy that is coming through. Okay. The four and the five. What are your spiritual beliefs? What are your beliefs about money? What are your beliefs about relationships? Oh, every every man and every woman is, you know, ratchet and low vibrational and karmic. Well, boo, that's what you're going to keep attracting. You get what I'm saying? Oh, every man, or, or even if you believe that, you can say, you know what? Um, my person that, that's perfect for me is out there and speak that positivity to you. So you, you got to know if you like that, you know somebody else out there like that. So speak that instead of all of the people that you keep running into. You get what I'm saying? Or all of these jobs or whatever it is for you. Everybody's different. You know, I named a bunch of different situations. If you're in a situation to like, y'all know my story, you know, me being in housing insecurities and being on my homeless journey, that's because of the deep subconscious beliefs that I had about money. Even if I was desiring the money and I was doing the work for the money, you know, mentally, Okay, um, the subconscious mindset work, it still had to play out. That poverty energy had to play out so it can get out of my system. Do you get what I'm saying? So I can tap into the abundance that I knew I already was, even when I was sleeping in a car, even when I was uh, sleeping outside, even when I was sleeping in the back of U-Haul trucks and on people's couches and everywhere else, even when I, my pockets was broke. You get what I'm saying? I, I I was still focused on changing my belief system for the positive. And that can be sometimes the most difficult thing. But winners never quit on themselves. Baby, I know I'm a winner. Ain't you a winner? And that's the thing. You got to pro reprogram your mind to know that you're a winner. Many of you guys didn't get the support that you guys wanted growing up or that you now see, oh, dang, I should have had this. Or it would have been nice if I had this type of support, the advice, okay, living in a certain way financially, but it wasn't meant to be like that because that, those are the barriers and the traumas that you were sent here to break. You get what I'm saying? So winners never quit on themselves. Just keep on going, keep doing whatever it is that you're doing and keep retraining your mind. Even if the outer world doesn't look like it's working because it is, it eventually all plays out. So keep going. But what you can't do is talk negative about yourself, okay? So yeah, what what that, it's like I see that you guys definitely have been doing your mindset work, okay? Or either this is your call to to start doing the mirror work. Even when I was homeless, every time I was in the bathroom or you know at the gym, you know showering, doing what I had to do, I was always in the mirror. Still, I was always doing my mirror work. Still, still, it did not stop. It did every mirror I saw. If I was in the car, I was constantly looking in my rearview mirror in the in the side mirrors, I was always looking in the mirror. If I didn't have a mirror, baby, I was using my phone so I could see what I look like and speaking to myself. Okay, to make me, to build myself up. To to I, you you have to you know really come to the, you have to really be truthful with yourself and say yeah okay you know what I really do feel this way about myself. And I have to change that. I have to shift these things. Oh, I do this as a result of this. Okay, well, let's work on that. Because that's the only way. That's the only way that you're going to make it through. You can't just stay stuck where you are and just deny and not see who you are and self-acknowledge. You have to self-acknowledge. This this, all of this is is about you and you. Those partners and those people that you've been in relationships with, it's only a reflection of you. What you're allowing or either what you're doing and they're just doing it better than you. Period. You get what I'm saying? Or either you're allowing somebody to treat you all fucked up, but yet you're trying to ask them to change. No, boo, that's not how that works. You got to focus on you. Don't give up on yourself. Winners never quit on themselves. Don't you quit on yourself. Strength is, te is taking a lot of strength, you know, for you to not give up on, on your dreams, on your goals, on that, that which the lifestyle that you truly are desiring. To, what are your goals? What do you want to do? What are you here for? What are you not giving up on? On making a better you? 
Uh, are you not giving up on yourself and the way you feel about yourself and building your confidence and your self-esteem? Are you not giving up on the lifestyle that you see that you desire? Maybe it's money and riches and the material things and, and the social uh, lifestyle as well. Maybe it's the travel dreams. I saw 10 and 10 on one. Maybe it's the travel dreams that you're not giving up on. Maybe it's that dream career that you think that it, it's not possible. Maybe it's that business that you think, like, dang, how am I, how am I get it? It's like, you, what are you out here doing? Is it being a better parent? Being a better spouse? What is it? Is it multiple things? I'm here to motivate y'all. Like I said, I'm a motivational speaker, baby. This is I'm a certified life coach. This is who I am and what I do. Get with it. Get right or get left. Period. <laughs> Oh, I was just about to mention too this because I was going to go back to this because I was going to mention how it was at the bottom of the deck the whole time with this emperor. People watching you. You got people that sees you. Uh-huh. They see how much strength that you've had, how much strength that you have endured. Also, this is you learning a lot. You have a lot of spiritual gifts here. Tap in. Tap into your intuition. Your intuition ain't lying to you. It's telling you the truth. It's guiding you. That's why you have all the strength here. Infinity, something about an infinity sign. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You could be a Leo. You could be an Aries. Heavy um, fire energy here. Yeah, you could be very fiery, firecrackery, you know. Or you could have these in your in your chart, you know, fire elements in your chart somewhere. But yeah, you, got, you definitely have people peeping you out. The people is peeping, honey. They peeping what you putting out, period. Whether what you're putting out on social media and online, what you're putting out when they, you know, when you come into work, they see how you're dressing, they see how you speak, speaking, they see the energy that you're putting out. The people's is peeping, baby. They peeping, they peeping, they peeping. You feel me? <laughs> Y'all better catch on to this good, good juju, to this good, good energy. Okay. If you know, you know. Ain't nothing but good, pure energy over this way, baby. And I'm black and I'm proud. That's facts. I just had to throw that in there and say that, okay? And I'm proud to be a woman, period. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, they see you. They know that you've endured a lot. And a, and a lot of people know that you have this attitude. Or even if you didn't used to have this attitude, they see that you now have developed this type of attitude. It's kind of like put some respect on my name. People are just putting respect on your name. Yeah, they see what you did. They see how you built each of these pinnacles or they see that you building this. They see that you building yourself up. Again, your self-concepts, how you really feel about yourself, your confidence, your self-esteem, your image, your self-image, all of those things. There's many self, um, um, self-concepts, self okay, that we can tap into. We got this queen of wands here. Again, you looking beautiful. You looking gorgeous. You looking sexy. This emperor sees you as well. Whoever you are, they see your strength. They see your caliber of who you are. If you're with this person, they, they see it and they respect it. Or whenever you connect with people, they see it and they respect it. Whoever these people are in your lives. Okay. Yeah, the Queen of Pentacles is falling under the Emperor. So it's like, I really see that you bossing up here. 1313, Scorpio energy here. Death energy here. Okay. I saw the um, death card as well. Earlier and I was going to mention something, but I didn't. I need to start... Doing it with, you know, following my intuition. I be saying so much stuff, you know. It's kind of like everything can't make it through because I be saying so much stuff. But it's like, yeah, everybody can't make it through. Everybody can't come with you, 1333. Your ancestors are saying, nope, these people can't come with you. They're going to have to watch from afar. They can't be a part of your journey. They can't be a part of what you're doing. You've been cleansing and clearing things out. They can't, they can't come where you are because they're not cleansing and clearing themselves out, period. So they can't come along. Yeah, I stand on business. I said what I said. You focus on your dreams. You focus on your goals. You focus on not giving up on yourself. You focus on not giving up on life. You focus on taking control over the direction of, of where you want to go. You focus on planting seeds and reaping the harvest. And that's what these people see. They see, when you was down and out, see, these people try to count you out, not knowing that you was going to recover, you know, the way that you did. Not, not knowing that you was going to come back the way that you did. Not knowing that, that you was never really down and out. You was just going through. Mm, baby, come on. Don't play with it. Okay? Let me get my eyebrows done. Oh, that's what I'm supposed to be doing. Putting this oil. I got this oil that I use for my hair. But um, it's hair oil. So, I'm going to put it here to see if it kind of grows my hair back right there. That's been gone since, like, I was young for a while, for a long time. 
But anyways, yeah, you've been planting seeds, okay? You've grown up in a lot of people's eyes. So this is a lot of people that could have known you or seen you previously or knew who you were. And look what came back out. Yeah, you plant... Yeah, you had to walk away because the seeds you planting and where you're headed in life, it's not where other, these other people... That It's like they... They had their time with you. You had your time with them. That friendship, all of that. A lot of times things are only temporary because God be moving you. And, you know, when I say moving you, I mean your mental, you know, ascending you spiritually. Okay. Um, you've been going through different rankings. Maybe you was at ranking one then ranking two and then ranking a thousand and then ranking 50 million or whatever. You get what I'm saying in the spiritual realm, however the, it be, the rankings go. You know, you had to build your spiritual ranking, but these people ain't focused on building their spiritual ranking, their spiritual authority. But you are, you've been doing the work. So that's been opening up, opening you up to different portals and to being able to have the secrets of the universe and to be able to have different, um, again, a higher rankings in the in the spiritual realm because you're actually the 1% that's actually doing the work. So a lot of these people had to naturally walk away from you. A lot of these people, you ain't gonna have to cut off. All of a sudden, y'all just, you ain't gonna call them. They ain't gonna call you. You ain't gonna have to say nothing naturally. They just gonna have to walk away. It just, the, the relationship just dissolves. For some of you guys, you guys may actually have to walk away, but a lot of this is just gonna fizzle out. It's just going to be, yeah. Yeah. And again, a lot of these people, too, they can't have access to to what you're receiving. They can't they can't sit at the table with you. You've been putting in that work. You've been planting these seeds. Now, you're gaining and reaping the rewards of those uh, and those benefits. You're eating your fruits. And these people, they can't sit at your table. They, they can't eat with you. They can't benefit off of, you know, the financial gains that you've earned, okay? Because they wasn't sleeping with you in the car, okay? Yeah, they can't go along with your, your career journey or anything like that. It's kind of like bringing along that friend when you now the president, the CEO of this company, but you still got that friend that you've been friends with for 10, 15, 25 years, right? And they that, yeah, 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 yeah. You you trying to do a press conference or be all professional and they all being all loud and everything else. It's like... When we at home, okay, we can be all that. But right here, right now, ain't the time and place. But they don't have a decorum. They don't. They they don't get it, you know. And it could be your image is. It's like y'all y'all going in two different directions, type of thing. You get what I'm saying? So it's like you gotta let you gotta kind of separate yourself and let let that go because they they don't match anymore. And they may be the type to be like, oh, you think you too good now or whatever. It's like, nah, bro, I grew. You know, I had to grow up. I had to change. I had to, you know, I have dreams. I have goals, whatever. So they may not be understanding. So that's really your cue. Like, where my purse? Time to go. <laughs> or where my lip gloss? Got to go. Because if I'm with my man, I ain't got my purse. <laughs> Period. But I'm always carrying my bag. Anyways, it was just a message within a message. Anyways, look at this. It's nine of wands and ten of swords. Yeah, a lot of these people, they still in this this spiritual warfare trying to figure themselves out. They they trying to, you know, realize it's a it's a it's a journey, not a destination. There there is no final destination or there is no final place that we're getting to. The the where you are is a destination. You're at your destination right now. You're gonna keep having multiple destinations, which is the journey. OK, and a lot of these people, you know, they're 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 really figuring out their, their pains and their flaws and what really hurt them. And, you know, a lot of these people have backstabbed, you know, maybe not you, but other people, they have it within them, you know, or maybe they have backstabbed you or whatever. But these people are just in this nine of wands, you know, and you were once in this energy, you know, so ain't no judging. But at the end of the day, it's like these people are really awakening and figuring out who they are. So you're past this energy. Maybe you met some of these people while you were in this energy and some of you guys, it could have been more so trauma bonding and it's like, no, you're out of that. You're growing now. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's the truth. Ace of Swords. Spirit says that's the truth. Also, this is you putting it into all of that waiting and, you know, being in that, um, that rough energy, like I'm ready to fight. It's like, nah, you good on that. You ain't, it's like you always prepare for anything, but you ain't in this type of nine of wands, ten of swords energy. It's like, leave that for the other people. Yeah, this is falling under this page of swords. So the people that's watching, that's the energy they in. And they wonder how you, where you at? You get what I'm saying? They, they trying to figure out like, well, hold up. This person was just in this effed up situation. How was this person... 
how did they out and maybe they was in this situation too and so they like how did how did they outgrow how did they get to where they at now like what happened like what came in to help them or you know like is do they have a person like what's going on like how is this per people are very curious and they're, they're wondering what's really going on in the background of, of your life they want they like how did you recover how did you you know um get out of all that debt that you were in how did you get over that gambling problem how did you get over that drinking problem how did you get over that heroin problem how did you get over whatever you get what i'm saying how did you get over that homeless problem y'all know whatever it is how did you get through that how did you get out of that abusive relationship how did you learn how to stand up for yourself they trying to figure it out because they see you different they see you glowing now i heard she preaching a word somebody said that because i am and y'all agree so they still stuck in this energy watching behind the scenes like what? Again, you're motivating and encouraging them. I said that in another reading as well. And that's the truth. You speaking your truth as well. You found clarity. It's like you've been enlightened. You've tapped into your emotions. You've done that shadow work, that healing work. Because winners never quit on themselves, baby. You didn't quit on yourself. Even if you was down on the ground, it's like you got yourself back up. You literally picked yourself up from the ground. I've literally had to pick myself up from literally sleeping outside. <laughs> I definitely ain't where I want to be, but I'm sure enough glad I ain't where I was. And I'm very thankful and grateful for where I'm at and what has transpired in this short period of time. And baby, it's just beginning. Baby, we just beginning. Comment that down below. Baby, we just beginning. Our journey is just beginning. Because guess what? It is a journey. Every day it's a journey. There is no final, oh, when when I reach this goal and then there's going to be another goal. It's not, oh, you reach this goal and then your work is finished. You either keep going with that goal and maintaining that. That's your work then at that point. Or either you create another goal. Oh, when I finally get that house, when I finally get that car, okay, and then you're going to have to maintain that. <laughs> you feel me? Can you keep the lights on? <laughs> you know? Yeah, but that's what's going on here. Give me some more. I want to tap in some more. This this read may be a little long. Ooh, yeah, look, a brand new fresh start. This Ace of Cups. These people are watching you fall in love. Also, you look like you are love. You look like you have this fresh beginning. You look like you're very refreshed. You look like you're on the right path. You look like you know what you're doing. You look like you're very magical. You look like you got fairies around you. You look like you manifest what you want. You are the magician. You are the alchemist, and people can see it. You look magical. You look mysterious. You look, you know, like you're this high priest, this high priest energy. You look like that. You look like you're in a new beginning. You look like you're wealthy. You look like you rich. Okay? Just your energy. The way you talk, the way you speak, the way you show up. And again, if you were in this energy, guess what? Not no more. Didn't I just sit up here and talk about the high priestess and high priest? Boom. So you definitely have this new energy that is here. No, no, no more did I heard smack talking or talking smack. No more all of that. Yeah. You got some good energy that's here that you're already in or that's coming in for you. So keep going. Cause when guess what? 25 years from now, you're gonna need to hear the winners never quit on themselves. You gotta keep going. Cause it could be no matter how confident you are, life can bring you some doozies, baby. Yeah. But you the high priestess. You already know this. You tapped into your intuition. You trust your intuition. What's this page of swords? What's this page of swords? The people of the past. What's this page of swords? Who's watching? The people that's in this devil energy. I told you. You can't make it up. Book y'all sessions down below. I'm just telling y'all like it, like it is. I know what I'm talking about. I ain't got. I didn't have to pull no cards. I already knew what it was. The, the visuals is for y'all. <laughs> you feel me? Spirit go back me up every time. I'm manifesting in real life. Duh, that's what that's what reads are. I'm manifesting in real life. So clearly I, I got that power and energy to speak it and then it happens. Boom. Okay? Like I said, all of these people are stuck in this energy. And it'll be light years before they make it from this energy into this energy. They see you did it, so they out here trying, which is good, you know, but they'll never be you. They'll never have the energy of this ace of cups. They'll never have the spirit, the the the, the favor of, of spirit uh, of the universe how you do. You're gentle and soft and sweet as a dove. Yeah, that's what I'm picking up on. Yeah, the moon. This is behind the scenes. They don't want y'all to know that they watching, that they, you know, peeping you out. 
But you know, energy nev never lies. Twenty four forty four. So I saw four four four. Yeah, you're building a very very strong foundation. And fours are definitely significant because I've been seeing fours. I mean, everywhere. Okay. But yeah, this devil energy is watching. This past energy is watching. These people that wanted you to stay stuck, stay in that. You know, they wanted you to stay in this painful energy. They didn't want you to make it out of your spiritual war warfare. They wanted you to be in this. I'm tired, and you know, this this I'm a spiritual warrior, and all of that type of energy. And I'm always going through pain, and always talking about people stabbing me in in the back, and family woes, and that's what they wanted you to be doing. But you was like, you enlightened, you you enlightened. You're enlightened. You enlightened yourself. But they still in this 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 uh, attached energy. And these people are definitely obsessed and attached to you because you're glowing. Wouldn't you look at diamonds all day if you could? Or the, the sun reflecting off the ocean all day if you could? Uh, you, you get what I'm saying? It's like you're like nature. You're very calming to these people. You're very like... Wow, I just saw a fairy, you know, riding on the back of a unicorn, uh, um, riding over a, uh, over a rainbow type of energy. It's like, you'll never see that shit again. A fairy on top of a, a unicorn riding through a rainbow with the two clouds at both ends of the rainbow. It's like the fairy tale perfect picture. That's what you are to people. Like when they see you, they like, whoa, did I just, did I, did I just see a deer, bro? <laughs> Kevin Hart, shout out to Kevin Hart. Y'all remember the, the deer and zebra, the, the deer, bro? I just saw a deer, bro. That's how it's going to be. They're they going to be thinking they saw a deer, bro, when they saw you. Your name could be Deborah or something of, of that variation. Dara, 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 you know? But yeah, you moving forward. Cancer energy with this chariot. Um, Libra energy with this justice here. Okay? This is Capricorn energy as well. With this devil energy. Yeah, these people is attached to you, honey. They see what you got through. They see who you are. They see where you are and how much you've grown. And they love it. These people love to see that you've grown, but they, but at the same time, they don't like that you've grown outside of them for some of these people. Some of these people got the stank face, you know. People ain't necessarily clapping for you, but it's kind of like people is looking. It's almost like you have some admirers that you are no longer talking to, but they kind of like, okay, yeah, I always knew that they was going to make it, even if they never told you. They, they knew that deep down inside that, yeah, I could see it in them type of thing, you know. But, yeah, you moving forward. Full steam ahead. Full speed ahead. Okay? Yeah, because winners never quit on themselves. Let's... Ooh, where do I want to go? It's like, do I want to give y'all some money advice? After all of that, it's like, yeah, let me give y'all some money advice. You know? Let's see what's going on with your money. I was wanting to get into a lot of different energies here. Should I get into some other energies? Yeah, I want to get into some other energies. This might be a long reading, but y'all here for it. Okay, let's stop in and see who else or what else is here. I'm going to close with the money energy, okay? But it's a, it's some old tea that needs to come out. We got this main female. This could be you or somebody around you. Ooh, we got this mature man here, okay? This mature man is giving me an emperor energy. But yeah, you're this. You, it's like you're the main character. It's the energy I'm getting. Look, thief. These people is trying to take your energy, yeah, concern. Uh-huh. Be careful that, you know, like when you out and about, you know, um, let, let's say it's giving me somebody sitting at a table for dinner or for lunch or something. And they got their purse out. Make sure nobody's trying to, you know, swipe it or put their hands, you know, in your purse or, you know, just when you're out and about, you know, just make sure you got your valuables close to you. Nothing to worry about, but just, you know, keep your head on a swivel and make sure you, you know, you follow a suit. Yeah, especially at work as well, you know, make sure if you have your purse in the cabinet, it can be locked or something like that. That's what I'm picking up on, something like that. Don't, like, somebody could literally be trying to steal something from you, okay? So just pay attention to that. Yeah, your name could be Rose or Rosie. Yeah, you're this mature woman. Yeah, you too mature for hanging around this bad health type of energy or this thief type of energy. You don't do that. You're too mature for that. You know, again, you focus on your dreams, your goals. Okay. There could also be a mother that's wanting to steal from a, a daughter here, or from another. There could be one woman wanting to steal from an, from a, a, another woman, because we have main female is first, and then we have thief, and then we have mature woman. So there's two women here. The main woman, you you could be this main woman, and then we have a mature woman. So there's a mature woman, could be an older woman, that is around this other woman, and there's the thief energy in between them. So 
y'all read that how y'all want to. And the cards may be backwards, but this is the first card. And then this is the second card. And then this is the third card. Thief is in between these two women. Either way you put it, thief is still in the middle. Even if this was first and this was last, thief is in the middle. So there's some thief energy between these two women. I'll just put it like that. That could be coming to an end or somebody could have closed that energy off. Like I'm not dealing with that because this person is now in despair that something has ended. This could also be somebody that's watching. Yeah, you you getting this great fortune. Like I said, this new beginning, that's this Ace of Cups. Yeah, people could be trying to make one last attempt to get back into your life, you know, so that because they know you got this great fortune. So they may be trying to, you know, steal something from you or, you know, be in your energy and lie to you or steal your energy so they can be, you know, trick you so they can be in your energy. 30, 33, you get what I'm saying? So they can be a part of this. They People want to be attached to you when you have all of this, um, when you have all of this great fortune uh, around you. You get what I'm saying? So people are going to try to find a way to attach to you or to try to get back into your life because they know that you're blessed. They see that you're blessed. So they see that this new beginning is all over you. They see that you got something going on for you. They just don't know what's really going on. They know that you have some type of great fortune or that things are looking up for you in some type of way. So they really want to know how you did it or how you're making it. They want to know what's really, really going on type of thing. So be careful for people that's trying to um, lie and be deceitful and be this is that seven of swords energy that they want to come in into your life and deceive you um, just to be a, a part of, you know, your your what you have, you know, your 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 material wealth, your riches and and um, your 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 riches and um, your, your money and, and so forth. The people that you'll be able to connect with and that you're hanging around, all of that type of stuff that you're socializing with. You know, this these people or this person or whoever it is, you know, they're, they're really concerned and like, dang, how can I get back in this person's life or how can I be around this person? Male or female doesn't matter. Even though mature woman came out here, it could be anybody. Yeah, because these people, they, they want to be attached to your new beginning. So they go act. They they may try to if you know a lot of time has passed. They may just try to be like, hey girl, or hey, what's up, bro? You know, like ain't nothing happened just because time has passed. Like just because time has passed and I've healed from it, yes, but it doesn't mean that you could just walk right on into my into my life and just act like everything is cool. You can't even be in my life. I'm not even saying hi to you. I'm not even gonna respond to you if I saw you face to face. What Kiki Palmer says? Sorry, I do not know this man. I do not know this woman. I don't know who this who these people is. Yeah, look, false false person. They're not who they say they are. So check people's intentions because people see you know that you that you're successful and they want to be a part of that success because they know that it's not in the cards for them. Period. So they want to be attached to you. And some of these people want to act like, oh, yeah, I was there the whole time. They was going through this and that. And like, you know, try to act like they was they was they was a part of your journey. But you was the, the hell of my journey. You know, that's like th that delusional energy is kind of coming through. Like, is you delusional? No, you wasn't with me shooting in the gym. Yeah. The next card to come out is sudden wealth. I'm trying <sighs> and unexpected income. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you. Because when you know, you know, when you know who you are, when you know the energy that you're in, when you know what you have all around you, what you know that you're in, that you possess, the, the energy vouchers is going to be out there. The energy vampires is going to be trying to take your energy or be in your energy because they, they, they know that you can't have been where you was and that you're not blessed and that you're not coming, that you're not reaching the top. So they know even if you ain't at the top, top yet. And ain't technically no top because the line keeps moving. Because like I said, ain't no destination. Once you get to one mountaintop, you go look over. It's going to be another mountaintop for you to conquer. You get what I'm saying? But they know you coming from all the way from the bottom. That even if you in the middle of the mountain, they still know that you headed up the mountain that you are for the, the, the success for that mountain. And they want to be around it. I mean, look, do y'all not see all of this? I mean, this is, I can't even explain this type of energy. It is amazing. It feels good. It feels great to know that you're provided for it, to know that you're completely taken care of no matter what. God got you and your family, period. 
You got all this money. It's not just about the money. It's about the resources. It's about, like I always say, because it's the easiest example, you always get in the first parking spot or the door is always being open for you or you are always in the right place at the right time and, you know, people paying for stuff for you or you getting, you know, um, <clears throat> a pay it forward. You're the recipient of a pay it forward or, you know, that, that email comes through and it says yes, even though, you know, everybody else, that same circumstance, they would have been told no. Your credit could be shot and fucked up, but you still getting approved. And it's like, wait, what? Because you got favor. Because the way spirit works on your behalf. That's what all of this is. Even though it's represented by money here on these cards. It's really the favor of the universe. It's really the way you view yourself. That's bringing in these things. Because you ain't settling for less. You only settling for this lifestyle. Or you only not settling for. But you're only accepting this lifestyle. Period. And you ain't settling for nothing less. And that comes with the money. Period. The resources. The people to help you maintain it. The right legal team. The right legal team because the ills is deal or or, what, or the deals is ill. Whatever Nikki said. <clears throat> you know, so everything that you do is, is, is legit. You feel me? Look at all this money here, baby. And then we got marriage too. Love and marriage, love and marriage. It's not just a marriage, it's a love. It's a loving relationship with this mature man here. Yeah, he's thinking about you. You got this person, whoever you're with, whoever you're in a relationship with right now, or whoever is coming towards you that you're going to be meeting, this person is going to be obsessed with you. They're going to think about you all the time. Yeah, this person is definitely a provider. They're old school. They're traditional. Even if they're younger, you know, they, they can still be, you know, old school and traditional as well. Just um, take it how it resonates. Who, that Whatever type of person that you really, truly desire, that's what's here. I'll just put it like that. Whatever you desire, it's here. Everybody has different desires for their person. Whatever it is that you desire, the characteristics, all of that, it's here. Now, certain things may not be the exact, you know. You may have said, like, <laughs> it's funny. I told Spirit, I said, um... I said, uh, I said, my man definitely is tall because all the short ones was trying to fuck me over. How are you trying to fuck me over and you short? I'm just saying. So, of course, my man will be tall. You feel me? So... It's like that's something that I, I had to joke with spirit about, you know, so it's like you may be manifesting one type of person as well, but they may come through in a little different way, but everything's going to be perfect. You get what I'm saying? Or all the character, certain things may be there, but it's going to be amazing. This this person, you're going to know it's going to be like, man, I love everything about them. I don't even the things that the other things they don't even bother me. OK, I don't care that, that he or she does this or that. That don't, I don't care. Like they're perfect for me. Nobody's perfect. You get what I'm saying? But it's kind of like your, your person's going to have features that's going to make you laugh or joke. Like, of course, spirit. Of course, this would be my person. Or, of course, they would have this. Or, of course, they wouldn't do this. Or whatever. Y'all get what I'm saying? Of course, they would just like this because maybe of what you were asking or who you are. It's like, oh, I really am a fashion model. So, of course, they would be, I don't know, just those little bitty things that maybe you didn't even ask for. But it just shows up. It's like, oh, spirit is funny. Oh, my God. And it's going to make it even better because you're getting all these little bitty surprises, too, that you didn't even think of. Like, spirit was really listening to me. Okay, you're going to see how, you know, how favored you really are by spirit. Okay? Y'all, all right. Now, that was the tea I had to get. I told y'all something else had to come through. I be feeling the energy. I'm a real energy reader, baby. Okay, yeah. But this person is definitely thinking about you here, okay? They definitely want to marry you. Yeah, retail. Some of you guys can work in retail. You guys can have your own boutiques as well. Or you guys are opening up your own store. Or there's going to be some type of angelic help that comes through to help you with this, okay? Or um, <clears throat> maybe you already have your store open and maybe, you know... It's not doing as well as you want it to. There's some type of angelic help that's on the way to help you keep your store open. Okay. You may have to relearn some things with the student card here. Okay. Or either for some of you guys, this is your sign to get into retail, to open up that store. Whether it's a brick and mortar or whether it's um, online, you need to get into retail here. Um, and it doesn't necessarily have to be clothing. It could be accessories. It could be paintings that you sell. It could be spiritual items that you sell, you know, whatever. Also, um, this could be services that you sell. Maybe it's not particular hands-on products, but maybe you sell your knowledge or you're a teacher, you're a coach and you sell, you know, certain packages and one-on-ones and all of that type of stuff. Maybe you sell books or that's something physical, but you get what I'm saying. Okay. But retail also, this is giving me tap in online, you know, um, what is it called? Um, 
merchandising and inventory. I can't think of the word I'm using. I'm, I'm thinking of like online. Um, oh my gosh, I can't think of what it's called, but it's all good. But also, it's giving me passive income to create a passive income for yourself is what I am picking up on. But either way, you have help when it comes to your finances and getting some type of business started. Okay. E-commerce. Thank you, Spirit. I knew it was going to come through to me. E-commerce. That's what retail is, but just, you know, online. So maybe some of you guys are into e-commerce. Okay, that's why I was talking about the inventory and all that. Yeah, silence and take action. You're taking action in silence. Spirit says, says move in silence because you don't need nobody knowing what you're doing. If you move in, don't tell nobody. You just show up and be there. And all of a sudden, people are like, dang, when you move? You get what I'm saying? Y'all might be literally moving in the night or something, you know? But um, it's like whatever you're doing, you're moving in silence. This business you start and you're moving in silence. They go see that a winner never quits on themselves because they go keep seeing you building. When they see you quiet and you they ain't got you, they ain't heard nothing from you. It's like it's okay because you in the background working, and the next thing you know, you popping out with something. So it's okay if you take a year off, six months off, three months off, five years off, whatever. It's always the right time to pop back up. So maybe you've already been off for five years and you ain't did now. You like man, I ain't did shit with my life the past five years. Well, baby, this is your sign. It's now the time to get up and take action and move in silence and don't tell nobody what you're doing or where you're going or what you got going on, who you with. Keep your silent. Those who's supposed to know, supposed to know, especially when you when it comes to your money. Don't tell nobody what you're doing with your money. OK, because, again, clearly I got a lot of money here. Or this is coming in towards y'all, 41-14. Okay, so make sure, yeah, then I tell you to have money help. You got to have the right type of um, legal team to help you with with this, with your money. You got the right type of accountants. Maybe some of you guys need lawyers as well, okay? You got the right uh, financial um, uh, advisors as well to help you with your money, to help plan out your money, okay, all of that. So, again, move in silence because people can smell money on you. And so you're going to have people really coming out the woodwork and trying to connect with you. Also, vet people. You need to vet people, especially for work, for jobs. If you guys have to hire people, okay, make sure that you're, you know, truly uh, going through the vetting process. And that the people that you're connected with for personal reasons, social reasons, business reasons, that they are all legit. Google a motherfucker, for real. Look up their social medias. You got to see who you connected with and who these people is. Yeah, shift denial. Some of these people is being denied shifting. They, they're trying to shift into a new reality. We got odd jobs. Some of you guys could be working odd jobs right now. Yeah, luck. Yeah, you may luck up and find like the perfect odd job for some of you guys. I know many of you all are entrepreneurs. And many of you all be don't believe in working, but there could be some type of position that comes up and it's actually perfect for you. It may coincide with who you are and what you do as an entrepreneur as well. So, you know, just keep a lookout. It may have um, certain connections and people that's there if it's the perfect um, position. You get what I'm saying? Um, and you wouldn't mind actually, hey, yeah, I can go here for eight hours a day and do this, you know, and give them my time because I'm benefit and too and the pay is good it actually works out and for my own business i can do i can do my business out my own business outside of that it doesn't take away it actually adds to you and fuel to and, and fuels you so if you are working a, a job or working for somebody else make sure it's it's all beneficial for you and you actually enjoy getting up doing it because it's helping you with your business or it's it's, it's something of that nature it's in alignment right yeah you're being activated here yeah, but there could be some type of odd job that's here. Or um, if you are in this odd job and you're not liking it, you're hating it, some type of luck is coming through. The work that you've been doing, okay, is working out in your favor and it's going to help uh, shift you out of this odd job. So um, just depends on what side of the spectrum you are on, all right? These are general. You can book your personals down below in the description bar, baby, okay? Yeah. Let's see what else is here. People may think that you're very lucky, that you're a very lucky person as well. They can't quite put their finger on it, especially if you're spiritual and these other people are not. They don't, they don't even, they may deny what you believe spiritually, but they see something is working for you. You know what I mean? They may, you know, be like, dang, that person is real magical or spiritual. Like I said before, you know, unlocking is here. It was something else I was going to say with that, but it's all good. What was locked can now be open. I told you, ain't nothing locked out from you no more. Whatever you ask for, you're going to get it. If you do have to work a job, ask for the perfect job and watch the perfect job come up on Monster or um, what's some sites? I don't know. Um, 
LinkedIn. That's what I was thinking about. I was thinking about the Facebook one, um, like the Facebook for business. But like, yeah, LinkedIn, um, Indeed, all of them. Watch the perfect one come up. Or maybe all of a sudden somebody just contacts you out of nowhere. You're like, dang, I didn't even apply for this position. 4444 on the phone. And you get reached out to. You get what I'm saying? So, But make sure it works for you. But yeah, so ask for what it is that you desire and watch it come up. So that way, if you do have to work to get your money for right now, you know, until you figure out who you are and what you desire to truly do, you know, as an entrepreneur, which is cool, you know, make sure it benefits you. OK, um, some of you guys may need to get more skills with something or really tap into what skills do you have? Ask yourself, what skills do I have? What can I what can I play on that? I do. I, you're great at something. Figure it out. I'm a coach, baby. I'm going I'm to challenge you. I'm going to ask you the questions. Unlocking. Okay? Again, you're unlocking your potential and you're growing. You're, you're figuring out who you are. You have opened the floodgates of abundance without limitations. Blocks are there to tell you that you're steering off tracks. Yeah, so if things wasn't going right, that's because, you know, you, you, you had to go along the journey to learn the certain lessons. But everything has been unlocked. It's like the oceans can come through. The levee has been broken. Louisiana type of energy. That's exactly why you have this floodgate and oceans of money that's coming through. This great fortune is being poured out onto you. Look at all of that. Something that money that's unexpected go be coming to you, sudden wealth. You just get money from all types of places. The person that you're gonna be with, they gonna have money. Then you get money, you know, just from odd situations that could be going on. Um, you know, maybe insurance claims, things like like that. And then um you could be getting money also from the work that you do, like as an entrepreneur, and then you could be getting money from like your passive incomes that I just told you to set up. Then you could be getting money from investments, then you could also be going to an actual job, and then you could have like little side hustles, like, oh, you know what? I'm I'm a babysit a little bit on the weekend type of thing. I'm going to walk some dogs type of thing. You know, just something real quick that's still bringing in a little bit. You may Uber on the side, DoorDash on the side. You feel me? Y'all just getting money in so many different type of places.